We want to determine both sums. For the first sum, we have 1.73 plus negative five. Notice the negative five is going to outweigh the 1.73, and therefore this sum is going to be negative. Looking at the formal rules for adding numbers with different signs, the first step is to find the absolute value of both numbers. The absolute value of negative five is positive five. The absolute value of 1.73 is 1.73. And now we subtract the smaller value from the larger value, which in our case will be five minus 1.73. And we do want to line up the corresponding place values. Notice the five and the one are both in the one's place value. And now for the five, we'll put a decimal point to the right and add two zeros. And now we'll bring the decimal point down and find the difference. We can't subtract three from zero, so we need to perform an exchange with the five in the one's place value we change the five to a four, which gives us 10 tenths, but we'll put nine tenths here in the tenths place value, perform an exchange, and place 10 hundredths in the hundredths place value. And now we can subtract. 10 minus three is seven, nine minus seven is two, and four minus one is three. The difference is positive 3.25. However, the sign of the original sum is the sign of the original number with the larger absolute value, the negative five had the larger absolute value, and therefore the sum is negative 3.27. And again, this should make sense because the negative five is going to outweigh the positive 1.73. To model this on the number line, we begin by modeling 1.73. So we start at zero and move right 1.73 units. And then because we are adding negative five from here, we would go left five units, which does bring us back to negative 3.27. Let's take a look at our second example. Here we have seven plus negative 3.51. For this sum, notice how the positive seven is going to outweigh the negative 3.51 and this sum will be positive. Because we're adding numbers with different signs, we begin by determining the absolute value of both. The absolute value of seven is seven. The absolute value of negative 3.51 is positive 3.51. And now we subtract the smaller value from the larger value, which for this example will be 7.00 minus 3.51. Bring the decimal point down, and now before subtracting, we need to perform another exchange. We change the seven to a six, place a nine in the tenths place value, and a 10 in the hundredths place value. And now we can subtract. 10 minus one is nine, nine minus five is four, and six minus three is three. This difference is positive 3.49, and because the positive seven had the larger absolute value, the original sum is positive 3.49. And let's model this on the number line. For seven, we start at zero, move right seven units. And then because we are adding negative 3.51 from positive seven, we move left 3.51 units to approximately here. which does give us positive 3.49. I hope you found this helpful.